So you watched the previous video, and if you haven't, here's the link in the top right corner and in the description below. Learn about the five different personalities. They are strong, positive characteristics. What makes them tick and thrive at work? You also did the questionnaire. So you are here to find out more about your shadow side or the one of your colleagues. This is the video about this little minifigure, Mr. Try Hard. If Mr. Try Hard had a dollar for every time he tried, he wouldn't need to work any longer. Trying enthusiastically at the beginning and dragging his heels over finishing the task is his characteristic. His interest fades away after a while, despite investing considerable effort, and he moves on to the next shiny thing. Although he brings bags of energy, creative ideas and broad outlook when a project kicks off, his colleagues are frustrated and resentful because he gets his hands on the most exciting parts of every engagement. The dull, mundane pieces? These are for the others. Even in small, straightforward chunks of work, his relentless analysis overcomplicates things, meaning manageable tasks become easily unmanageable. Deadlines are missed. Reports are larger than usual, containing information that nobody needs. During times of change, Mr. Tryhard wants to cover every angle, every detail of how change is likely to pan out, adding factors, variables, possibilities on the fly as he delivers his presentation, surprising his change peers. This and jumping from one thing to another creates a climate of ambiguity, uncertainty, coming across as an amateur, as someone that doesn't know what he's doing. When asked questions, he takes his time to respond, sometimes to another question, adding even more to the confusion. If you are like Mr. Tryhard, take a step back, find what's important and focus on it. Work on it till you see through. Yes, believe in a VUCA world with many variables and angles, but you need to simplify or perhaps deal with complexity in an incremental way as it emerges. Put some reins on trying and enjoy finishing. Going off in a tangent helps nobody, not even you. You may get satisfaction from overanalyzing, volunteering, keeping busy with new stuff. However, some boundaries are in order. Explore what is necessary, meaningful and value-added with the help of your colleagues to avoid wasting energy into the wrong thing. And here's a kind note to yourself, a simple yet powerful sentence. It's okay to do it. What are you afraid of? You may fail, you may succeed, but you will never find out if you don't do it. The road might be treacherous, full of obstacles or simply a walk in the park, but you will never find out if you don't deliver. Knowing your drivers, your working styles and how you may react under pressure at times of change may be invaluable. This conscious awareness of the reasons behind these strong emotions, what triggers them, as well as knowing your strong points and your shadow side, gives you more choice to slow down, reflect in the moment and perhaps act differently. Because knowing yourself better is power. As always, thank you for watching. And if you found this video useful, hit the like button below, share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe for more. That'd be lovely. Till the next one, I'm Lazaro Wolf. Take care.